What's up guys? Um, today I'm just going to make a really short video uh, testing out this server power supply I have here. I got this from um, Mining Chambers uh, Garage Sale and he told me that he wasn't sure it worked. So what I want to do is just test it out first. Um, obviously if it doesn't work I can't do very much. If it does work I'd like to set it up in my second rig here. Uh, right now I just have the two 1660 Supers going in there. Um, however I have two more in this PC which ideally I'd like to put in the rig. Uh, I just need more power. So if this puppy works, I'll be able to slap it in there. I have six wires for now, or six cables I should say, uh, connectors for that. Um, but I will test it out first with some old GPUs I have here. So this is a uh, Radeon 5850. Um, and ideally what I'll do is I'll take one of the supers out of there. I'll pop this in, uh, connect it with the power supply that's in there right now make sure everything works, um, and then I'll set up the uh, server power supply in parallel with that um, and see after if the card still works. Uh, if the card works in the computer powered by the server power supply, um, I think I'll, I'll be good to go to set it up in the rig. So uh, first step, I'm gonna shut this down. I'm gonna pop one of the cards out of there. Like I said, I'll put this guy in there first. So we're halfway done. All right, so the card's in there. Let's Put the power cord in. And we're on. Alright, so I just booted the computer. Uh, and you can see right away there's a... Uh, okay, focus is here. Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. So I'm just going to give it a minute. Uh, see if it recognizes it. And after that I'll just basically swap the two... Uh, the two six pin connectors uh, from the power supply, or sorry, the server power supply instead of uh, the ATX power supply on my computer. And that's how we'll test if this works. So a couple minutes in, and there we go. We have it, HD 5800 series. Uh, I'm just gonna shut it down and connect the server power supply and see what it gives. We're hooked up to the server power supply, breakout board, and I'm gonna plug this in. There we go. So the light flashed on quickly there on uh, on the breakout board, but it shut back off. There we go. It's time for the PC again. And uh, I'll let it boot and get back to you. Okay, well, I'm a bit surprised. Here, I went in the device manager and the card is detected again. Um, the, the reason why I assumed at first the, the power supply didn't work is because I did a very similar test before and I, it didn't see the card. It didn't see the card. Um, I'd used it in this test rig with that power supply um, before I built this rig. Um, and like I said, it didn't work. So I don't know why it's working now. If, if I, Maybe I had one of the cables not well plugged in. I think that's probably the most likely thing, but I always double check that. Um, anyhow, uh, good surprise. I think I'll, I'll probably set up uh, at least one of the cards, if not both, in, uh, in that rig. So here we go. Back to one card in this PC. Uh, this card is ready to go. The Tough Super again. I have the riser ready for it. Uh, I'm going to plop it in here. Connect it to the server power supply, like we did the uh, Radeon card in that PC. Uh, so I'm going to shut down this rig now, and uh, hopefully everything works properly. Got the card in. Uh, I just used one one cable with a splitter, like I did all the other cards. Um, I only have six of these, so if I want to run six cards, I'll need to run six with splitters anyway, uh, unless I order some more, you know, uh, breakout board cables. So. I'm going to flip all this stuff on. Um, yes. Put this back in. But we won't put this on yet. We'll put the server power supply in. Okay, so I plug that in with two hands, much easier. Let's put in the server power supply. Turn on the breakout board. Oops. All right, so the card goes on. Uh, both lights are on on the riser. Let's put on our ATX. And 
to start her up. As always, I just go to Device Manager and I see all three supers there. So I'm going to modify the batch file to, uh, to make it run for all three. I'll get the mining, I'll see if everything works properly, but I mean, everything looks just fine. We are all good. Uh, over 31 mega hash on each card. Uh, I didn't even have to modify the batch file because uh, it T-Rex Miner and basically they're all the same cards. I have all the same overclocks, so yeah, uh, it's all running beautifully for now. Um, I think I'm going to let it run for a little bit and if everything is stable I will run either one or two more cards off this and uh, drop the, uh, the 8 pins from this because it's bronze rated, uh, it's less efficient and I'd rather use a server power supply if it works, right? Um, so yeah, um, I'll get back after that. Okay, we're now running all three cards on the server power supply and everything's working uh, perfectly. I mean, we're still hashing at the same uh, the same rate, using the same wattage, I mean the same reported wattage. Uh, and yeah, there we go. Uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, one thing I noticed is that it definitely heats up a lot more than this one would, even fully loaded on the cards. This one is cool to the touch, this one is really hot. Um, but I heard that's normal, so yeah. Last thing I want to say before I go is another thanks to Mining Chamber. He just gave this to me. Uh, I didn't pay a, a single penny for this, so thanks to him. Uh, like I said, he just said I had to test it out to make sure it worked, so that's what I did. Uh, big thanks to him, uh, or else that's it for today. Uh, I might have something coming up for this slot here in my 10 series, uh, 10 series rig, um, so we'll see. Uh, maybe something about that in the next video. Uh, stay tuned, take care, and have a good weekend, guys.